Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use how to create a make file for a given program. We know that when you write a very big program it tends to get very tedious and it is prone to error. So what we can do is we can modularize our program. Suppose let's say you are being asked to write a program to find a BFS for a given graph. So if you write everything in one single program it can be quite tedious and it and it is prone to it's prone to have an error. So what you can do is you can modularize your code. So here what I've done is for my BFS program I have modularized my code into three components. My first part is BFS.h, the second component is BFS.c and the third component is my BFS.c. So in in my BFS.h I've defined all the data structures that are that I'll be using for this particular program along with all the functions these are the functions that I'll be using to code my BFS program. The second part my BFS.h contains the definitions of all the functions that I've declared in BFS.h so these functions their definitions are present inside BFS.c one thing to remember out here is this header directory should be defined only once in my bfs.h in bfs.c so I'll include this header file bfs.h out here so that will automatically include hash include stdr.h and hash include hash include stdr library.h in bfs.c my third component is my bfs.c so this part contains the main functions from where I'll be invoking all these functions. So I won't go, go into details of how the BFS program will work. So this tutorial is basically to show you how to use make file, how to create a make file for a given program. So so when I do out here I have created a make file for for this modules. So let's go let's get ahead and see what is there in the make file. Okay, so this is my make file corresponding to the BFS program. So my final executable has been named as final. So to create this final to create this executable, I know there are two object files, bfs.o and my bfs.o. So after this two object functions has been created, I can create this final executable using this command out here. So to create my bfs.o, I need these two C programs, bfs.c and bfs.h. Once I have that, I can use the gcc command along with these parameters to create the bfs.o object file. Similarly, to create my bfs.o object file, I need these two files and then I'll use the gcc command along with these parameters to create my bfs.o object file. The last part here, this one is an optional part. So what I'm doing out here is, so everything has after everything has been done, I'm just removing this two object file from my system. So let's go ahead and run this make file. So to run the make file, the command is make. So once you run the command, if there is no error, it will create this object executable. So let's see if the object executable has been created or not. Alas, so here it is. The executable has been created. Now to run this executable, just need to type dot slash final. Okay, so this was my BFS program using a make file. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.